YouTuber Jake Laser from the Jay Laser Video channel was inspired by the superhero Frozone from the animated film The Incredibles to create a suit that allows him to skate anywhere by freezing the surface as he moves. To achieve this, he developed a backpack powered by water and liquid nitrogen, which sprays ice to mimic Frozone's abilities. The main challenge was to build a portable system capable of instantly freezing surfaces so Jake could skate on ice created right beneath him. Initially, he experimented with various methods, such as using compressed CO2, but these proved impractical for generating enough ice. He eventually settled on liquid nitrogen due to its extremely low temperatures, which allowed for instant ice formation. Additionally, he used a chemical reaction known as elephant toothpaste to create a foam that resembles snow. Another interesting project from YouTuber Jay Laser Video was his attempt to create a real hoverboard inspired by Back to the Future. The idea of building a device that can hover above the ground using ground effect is quite ambitious. This physical effect creates an air cushion that allows the object to stay above the surface without touching it. To build the hoverboard, Jay Laser Video explored various levitation technologies, including magnetic levitation and the use of superconductors, but ultimately decided to use electric jet engines that generate an air cushion similar to that used in hovercrafts. The hoverboard was successfully tested on different surfaces including asphalt and grass, but like in Back to the Future 2, it couldn't effectively operate over water. Despite this, the hoverboard consistently hovered at a low height, demonstrating its potential for real-life use. The popular YouTuber Whistlin' Diesel pulled off an incredible stunt by attaching giant 10-foot wheels to a Tesla Model 3 and driving it upside down. To enable the Tesla to move in an inverted position, Whistlin' Diesel's team created custom wheels made of steel pipes, which lifted the car several meters above the ground. This allowed the car to be safely flipped without the roof touching the ground. A massive excavator was used to perform the flip. Before the flip, the car went through numerous tests, including driving over obstacles, attacks on the interior with a chainsaw, and even testing Tesla's automatic safety systems. Despite the destructive tests, the fact that the Tesla was able to drive in an inverted position showcased the impressive resilience of its electric system, which does not rely on traditional fuel or oil like internal combustion engines. Engineers from the Hacksmith Industries channel, known for creating real versions of popular fictional gadgets, developed an impressive project called the Aquaman Jet Trident. This isn't just a prop, it's a functional water tool that allows a person to move through the water at incredible speeds, even faster than Olympic champion Michael Phelps. The Trident uses a jet propulsion system that forcefully expels water. Hacksmith's goal was to create a device that not only resembles Aquaman's Trident, but also harnesses water power for practical use. This is one of many ambitious projects from the company, known for its engineering marvels like jetpacks and lightsabers. YouTuber Jake Carlini, known for his unusual and creative projects, decided to build a real hovercraft. In his video, he showcased the process of creating a flying vehicle capable of hovering over the ground. Using accessible materials like wood and simple components, Jake assembled a hovercraft with an air cushion. The main challenge was to create a stable cushion under the vehicle. To achieve this, Jake installed powerful fans and designed a special skirt that trapped air beneath the hovercraft, providing lift. The project required numerous experiments and adjustments, especially to balance the machine's weight and power. The final result demonstrated a hovercraft capable of smoothly moving over grass and pavement. YouTuber Jay Laser Video known as Jake Laser created an incredible flying Iron Man suit that actually flies to him on command, just like in the movies. This project, which took him an immense amount of time, features a high-tech electric jetpack powered by numerous small electric motors. Initially, he faced many issues, such as overheating and stability problems when using larger motors, but by redesigning the setup and adding onboard computers to control the flight, he achieved stable flight. Furthermore, Jake implemented a feature where parts of the suit can autonomously fly to him, just like Iron Man's armor in the movies. The project was very costly. Jake spent tens of thousands of dollars on specialized jet engines, batteries, and other components. Despite numerous setbacks, he persisted and ultimately succeeded in creating a functional suit that not only flies, 
but can also be summoned to its owner, much like Tony Stark's armor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. James Bruton, a former toy designer and popular YouTuber, created a rideable AT-AT robot inspired by the Star Wars films. This impressive project showcases his skills in robotics and 3D printing. While his version of the iconic AT-AT isn't as massive as the one in the movies, it's a fully functioning model that can support the weight of a person and move slowly, just like the film original. The construction consists of three D-printed parts and aluminum frames, making it sturdy enough to walk and even turn via remote control. Although Bruton's version isn't armed like the one in the movies, the robot still looks intimidating. The leg movement is powered by electric motors, faithfully replicating the original AT-AT's slow, deliberate gait. This project of Bruton's truly deserves special attention, especially from Star Wars fans. Vietnamese YouTuber Thanh Che created a futuristic boat using materials from a junkyard for just $15. This project has become one of his most unusual and creative works. The boat has a minimalist and streamlined design, resembling something out of science fiction. Its long nose and aerodynamic shape make it not only visually appealing but also functional on the water. To build the boat, Than Che used available materials, including metal and plastic found at the junkyard. The main goal was to construct it at minimal cost, while ensuring enough strength and buoyancy for it to move freely on the water. The assembly process involved numerous experiments with weight and balance to ensure the boat's stability. The result lived up to all expectations. In the video, the boat is shown gliding across the water's surface at high speed, demonstrating the effectiveness of its design. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.